crypto was born out of a lack of trust. It all started when the housing market crashed in 2008. Bad loans were rampant all across the place. So in order to show you how important trust is for crypto, we're gonna play a game. All right, everyone, raise your hand. Now, put your hand down if you believe that elections are trustworthy. I'm not spreading fun, I'm just asking what you believe, all right? Now let me ask you a question. Do you have trust in the government after the whole pandemic thing that happened over the last few years? Okay, keep going, keep going. All right, do you have trust that banks out there are doing what they say they are? Okay, do you trust news outlets in terms of how they're reporting things, say Russia, Ukraine, and all the other stuff, election coverage and too, okay. Trust, trust is key. How many big whales out there trust crypto now? After the Luna UST thing that we were all lied to about, after Mashinsky and Celsius lied to us saying, hey, unbank yourself, and now after Sam Bankman Freed ruined even more trust in the market. There were $3 billion of outflow this week in the exchanges because of the crash of FTX. That's $3 billion worth of trust that was yanked out of the market. Let me ask you a question. Now, with everyone that had their hands still up or with the people that had their hands put down, for the ones that put, had their hands put down, how long will it take you to have trust in the government? How long will it take you to have trust in media? How long will it take you to have trust in elections? How long will it take you to have trust in global politics? The same thing is gonna happen to crypto. If we want things to moon, right? Because isn't that the big question, when moon? If we want things to when moon, we have to start increasing trust increasing trust so that people feel more comfortable putting their money back into crypto. So that institutional level investors are like, hey, wait a minute, my money will be protected, my money will be safe, let me get back into it. So back to the beginning of this, right? It is all about trust. Crypto was born out of a lack of trust with centralized finance systems sparked by the 08 financial system crash, housing crash too, which really started that whole bad boy off. So now when we get back all to it, if we really want crypto to get better, we have to increase trust. Increasing cr trust is gonna take time. You know? And if it means taking time, that means when moon is pushed even further down until more money can trust crypto. We need to get rid of the bad actors and we need to get better, well, I don't wanna say better, we have to get regulations in place, not over regulations, but regulations in place so that institutional level investors out there can lead the next charge of trust and build the markets back up because the technology is good. Web3 technology is amazing. The speculators though that have made a mess of it, that's the problem. So it is all about trust. And let me know in the comments below, are any of the entities that I mentioned earlier ones that you don't trust?